This is Minister Paul, Watchman on the Wall in Northern California, and it's uh, Thursday, February 28th. Tomorrow is March 1st. So, talking about how the media manipulates and how there's fake news and how the World Wide Web and social media and even television, which I don't really watch anymore, can try to suck you into a world that you're not to be a part of by just making all these things trend and reporting this and that and making you believe you live in a world that you really don't. I mean, this is this is what God is showing me right now. This world is not our home, and we're beginning to feel unwelcome in our spirit. So anybody else feeling like that? So... Here's what the here's what the media wants you to focus on. This Cohen, blah, 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 Trump, Russia stuff, right? Or or over here, this uh oh, the big meeting in, in Vietnam, nuclear talks of collapse. That's a serious issue. But not as serious as this dude over here, Cohen. I mean, it, to me that is as, I don't even need to hear about that. It, or, you know, like this stuff right here, over here, you know, towards the end of the news, that uh, Trump just got up and walked away from nuclear talks with North Korea. When we have a nuclear situation brewing up between India and Pakistan. But you don't see that nowhere on the news. You don't see nothing about, oh, India, Pakistan, or there's been a retaliation. No, it's this big talk right here that the dude... Uh, Kim Jong Un took a train. All I mean, it took like three weeks to get there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> he did. He took a train, a train there all the way through China and all this. I don't know how long it took to get there. It was a long train ride. I mean, but <laughs> I don't know why I thought I need to mention that, man. It's just <laughs> here's the news. Watch this. Here's the news right here for the body of Christ to be watching. Now look. Netanyahu to be charged with bribery pending hearing. So, did you hear that? <laughs> Today's date right here coming out of Israel news is that they're indicting Prime Minister Netanyahu on, I think, more than one charge. Breach of trust. Uh, so, Attorney General intends to indict Netanyahu for breach of trust in two other cases. And and so they, they've made this case come forward, right? Watch this, because they want you asleep. They made this case come forward right before his election, exactly like they did to Trump, right before his election. You know, he, their, their election is, is uh, you know, kind of wrapping up over there right now. And, and he's being indicted. And, and so here, watch this. Is it just some big, huge Minister Paul Channel conspiracy theory coincidence that the same thing happened to Trump when he was running? And now when he's coming up for re-election in 2020, there, there's this dude's over here blaring, you know, that, uh, Trump lied. It, it, uh, you know, Trump, you know, just anything you could think of. So, so he's freaking out, saying, "Oh, Trump did this, Trump did that," and so and the question is whether Pelosi would indict him, right, Trump, which which was which kind of just shadowed his whole first three years of presidency, all this media stuff, and then now here's Netanyahu, and what if what do USA in Israel or will say Trump and and. Prime Minister Netanyahu have, have in common. They want to restore Israel as a nation. Back to its original borders and the original power. And uh, that Obama had actually reduced Israel's borders. You know that, right? And now Trump wants to expand Israel's borders. So... What side of this do you think God's going to lean on? 
no matter what you think your opinion may be or your theology of the Bible may be, what side do you think the Word of God errs on the most, leans towards the most? To make Israel's borders bigger or to take away their land? In God's eyes, according to His Word. You don't have to answer that to me. I just felt led to ask that. I really did felt to ask that. For people with cold hearts towards Israel, read your Bible. Don't let you, read your Bible. Okay, in closing on this, I want to talk about something else. Now, this is important. It's like 10, 15 in the morning out here on the West Coast, right? So I, I looked over at the clock and I knew exactly what time I got up at. It was 8 a.m. I, I mean, I just, I knew exactly. I came out here and I sat in the chair with the laptop and I'm getting all updated on everything I do in the morning. Check the news, breaking news, world news, local news, social media, this and that, right? And usually it feels like about two hours goes by by the time I checked everything and feel like I'm caught up. You know, to go do something else. It's been literally about two hours. You know what I mean? It, it takes a while to get caught up and be, uh, you know, in tune with everything that's going on right now. So you can be a true watchman, right? And so I did all of that. And I literally felt like it was about 1030. Time goes by really f quite, uh, fast during that first two hours of your day upon awakening. The first two hours go faster than any two hours. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? And I, I'm like, it's 1030. I was going to get up and see what I might want to wake, make for lunch later. And I looked at the clock and do you know what, do you know what time the clock said? The clock said it was only 830. I sat here, I sat here just yesterday, as I do every day, and did the exact same thing, and then, then today, it happens in a half hour, the exact same morning I have every morning, pretty much, daily, happened in a half hour today. I felt like the day hadn't even started yet, it was... And I'm like, God, okay, what is this, man? I, you know, what is this, God? What is this I'm feeling? And he said, it's the time shift. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, I mean, th these things are really getting strange, God. You know, this is the God I've spoke on how much I love and cherish and worship and just try to protect and defend his word, you know, and share the gospel of Jesus Christ and my testimonies and all that. <clears throat> I'm like, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm like, uh, so what is this that I'm feeling? How did, it felt like I just lived a quarter of a day and it's only been a half hour. I'm like, what is that, God? Like I was losing part of my life. You know what I mean? In the flesh. That's how it feels in the flesh that you're actually losing part of your life. And he said, it's the time shift. And he said, I want you to continue to warn on this time shift. And so I will obey God and continue to warn on this time shift. Because the thing I'm asking God and seeking God for answers on right now is this. Does this affect me in a good way or a bad way in my walk with you? You know what I mean? That's the, that's the, that's the enemy dagger he's going to throw at you. That fiery dart he's going to go, boom. Well, you know, now that time's speeding up are you saved are you not saved did this is a good thing or a bad thing for you and jesus instantly went he said boom he said look to my word he said he's shortening in the days for his elect his people us and so the enemy is going to try to bring fear against us because we're aware of this time shift and we just have to quote god's scripture that this is happening because he loves us otherwise the enemy will have us focus on the world and we'll, we'll feel like we're dying early when really we're not dying at all. I hope that helps you like and share this video, get this message out. Are you feeling the time shift?
uh, or does it happen more intensely upon God's messengers that warn and then they start feeling it, you know, because it's like a future warning. It, it's just one of those things. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you.